latest on July 23rd around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Two tropical depressions are currently active on either side of North America. 3L just off the coast of Florida over the northern Bahamas and tropical depression 5E in the eastern Pacific out at sea. 34 storms have formed so far on July 23rd of this year. It's day 53 of the Atlantic hurricane season and 3L has formed in the last few hours uh, over the northern part of the Bahamas moving towards the northwest. Day 70 of the eastern Pacific shows you 5E which could also become a tropical storm. No systems active in the uh, eastern hemisphere right now, uh, the northeastern quadrant that is. No systems at all. In the southern Indian Ocean, 96S is still alive, however chances are dwindling for any formation there. So the top story is Tropical Depression 3L, which is currently pictured here. 35 mile per hour winds, a pressure of around 1015 millibars. Not too far from Miami actually, and only 30 miles from Freeport in the Bahamas. Its movement over the next few days will take it on a uh, mainly a nor northward heading um, with a small chance of tropical storm conditions along the coast of Florida. We're not expecting it to become a tropical storm. Uh, staying as a tropical depression into North Carolina where it will turn into a remnant low. So that's pretty straightforward. Tropical depression 5E also located in the eastern Pacific there on the other side of Mexico. 35 mile an hour winds, 1,003 millibars. Its current position is 16.4 north, 117.3 west, 218 miles from Isla Clarion, Mexico. Um, as we saw yesterday, the track forecast is pretty straightforward as well. Brief tropical storm possibly as it moves towards the north and then swinging off towards the northwest and weakening again to a remnant low. Both of these two systems that we're looking at today are going to be very short-lived, possibly no longer than just two days. So this is the wind shear graphic of uh, 5E in the Eastern Pacific. Wind shear value starting to decrease there. Uh, still around 15 knots though. Um, and I'm not too sure on where exactly the center of the circulation is. There's quite a few little vortices swirling around there around a uh, wider central area um, that we're looking at there. Convection well displaced to the southwest. In the North Atlantic, 3L arguably looks better um, although still not too great uh, convection waning in those last few hours but earlier today it was looking fairly good um, and some of the convective rain showers extending over Florida there as well we'll hopefully get a closer look on this next image here showing the Gulf of Mexico area you can just about make out the edge of the system there um, and how it's contributing to thunderstorm activity over Florida the eastern Pacific looks like this not too much else going on apart from 5e and really it isn't looking like that much of a system it has to be said um, not sure whether it even will reach tropical storm status models are split on that there's another little area of interest there in the uh, central pacific that's just past hawaii possibly delivering some rain there too that uh, one or two models possibly hinting a development there in the western pacific just off the top end of the screen there is a system that's potentially gathering subtropical characteristics but i don't think it's going to carry over to a tro uh, to become a subtropical cyclone um, further down towards the south there, a little disturbance in the uh, Philippine Sea up towards the north there, not too far from some of the Japanese islands, could develop and strike Japan in about five days time. In the South Pacific region, things looking pretty quiet here. Offshot towards the southeast, there's another little interesting feature that we've been looking at earlier today. And in the Indian Ocean, monsoonal patterns still in the north and to the south there. 96S looking a lot more disheveled in those latest frames. Sea surface temperatures look like this, pretty warm in the eastern East Pacific. Underneath that invest, it's much cooler though, barely marginal I would say. The Gulf of Mexico warming up a lot, 28, maybe even 30 degrees Celsius, quite common there, especially near Florida. And over the Bahamas where invest, uh, not the invest anymore, the tropical depression 3L is located. Good conditions there as well, around 30 degrees Celsius. The North Indian Ocean also has a few areas there, just off Bangladesh and northeastern India, 30 degrees plus. Same too for the uh, Gulf of Tonkin and for the uh, Philippine Sea towards the Mariana Islands. Well, that system might form a bit further north, 
around 28 degrees Celsius, certainly warm enough. Here's a close-up of Tropical Depression 3L right now. Um, this is the latest imagery and uh, really those thunderstorms over Florida um, are uh, getting to much greater heights than the system's central uh, region where you would expect that convection to be blowing up. It really isn't developing in that way and that's probably an indication that it's really not going to intensify very quickly if at all. Tropical Depression 5E there. A better look at it now, a bit further zoomed out, you can see that convection, uh, a lot of it becoming a little bit displaced towards the southwest. Uh, that will probably continue because it is riding that edge of uh, higher wind ship and only just marginal 15 knots. The next name on the Atlantic naming list, should 3L manage it, will be Chantal. In the Eastern Pacific, it's Delilah if 5E gets the tropical storm status. Akoni is next on the Central Pacific naming list at this time. In the Western Pacific, we're looking out for Nari. In the North Indian Ocean, the next name on the list is Hika. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text, subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find our social platforms on Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text. And you can get in touch with us on any of those mediums. That's it for now, we'll have another tropical weather bulletin tomorrow with updates in between. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.